Well, I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is most of us are likely stuck with COVID-19 for the rest of our lives. The good news is it will eventually fade into the background and cause minimal disruptions in our lives. A good example is the flu endemic. It still infects people, it still kills people, but it's not happening at high rates across an entire population. It's not we flip a switch and all of a sudden we're in an endemic situation. There is no magic number or exact timeline for when the pandemic will end. But generally speaking, if more people get vaccinated and infections slow down, COVID could become a manageable threat, thus entering the endemic phase. Michigan's chief medical officer says health leaders are already planning for it. That will change how some of our COVID response works, how our testing response works, how our contact tracing and case investigation works. So we are definitely looking long term. Certain cities with high vaccination rates like San Francisco are already beginning a phased approach to endemic status by easing COVID restrictions. Dr. Matthew Sims says in a lot of cases, the so-called return to normal may be happening too fast. It still has a lot of potential to overwhelm the healthcare system. At any given point, is you know when there's a new surge. With every pandemic, lessons are learned. I think that one of the things we've learned um, as a um, as a country is that we need to invest in public health infrastructure so that we're ready for the next pandemic, so that we're ready for other public health threats in the future. And we, as a society, adopt new habits. After the pandemic, do you think that you'll keep wearing masks? Yes, I will. Yes, my new normal. I feel we're without it now. Some people might change, but I don't think that's going to be a significant thing. I think people are just more aware of life and death, quite honestly. I don't think it's a matter of hygiene. Because the global response to COVID was not uniform, it's likely our path to endemic status won't be either. There are going to be lots of different metrics that are involved, and it'll be a very slow and deliberate process. Well, now that five to 11 year olds are eligible for the vaccine, we could be one step closer to an endemic situation. But that will, of course, depend on the uptake in that age group. Live in Southfield this morning, I'm Alex Bozargian, 7 Action News.